fantasy who ever I wanna be just a boy fantasy just a girl fantasy looking for a video to react And here's the other thing, too, you guys got to understand, bro. We all know that women... Are... Oh, uh, my body count is uh, 25. Stop, Stop the cap. cap. Bro, <laughs> no. Like, uh, yeah, it was seriously. Here's the thing, bro. Uh, let me give you guys a little uh, in-depth uh, view of the female mindset, okay? <laughs> this is how women think, all right? They only count the bodies of dudes that they, like, remember and, like, had fun with, okay? That does not count the one-night stands. That does not count the dudes that they met... At the foam cannon and get gymnastics to rationalize their poor behavior. Because here's the thing, bro. <laughs> so 1,000%. Small dick energy. Sm uh, insecure. You're, you're just jealous. Uh, you're, an, you're an asshole. You're misogynistic. Whatever. Blah, blah, fucking blah. My only real request is that you don't embarrass me and fuck other guys. Okay? But they have the fucking gall to sit here and say, you're yeah, insecure. You're yeah, insecure. No, you dumb bitch. I'm not fucking insecure. I'm very secure in my goddamn confidence. It's reality, okay? We don't want hoes. That men can't have standards. It's bullshit. We don't ask for much. We really don't. Girls ask all for these things, and then you say, all right, well, I just don't want you to be a hoe. Oh, my God! You take her seriously? She can't have a pair bond. So what happens is you wife her up, you take her in, and she's hella, hella muzzle on, on her body. You know what I'm saying? And at that point, what, what do you get? A used beat up product that can't even work properly. She can't pair bond, so it's gonna it's gonna break up anyway. And the worst scenario is if you marry her, that's divorce right there and then. So Myron's right, man. Like you don't. We got it, ladies and gentlemen. We got it. We did it. We did it. We found it. That's all I needed to hear. The new duo on the block. Don't know much about them. They kind of recently blew up. What I do know from them, or just the vibe they give off, the incel loser high school kids that hit puberty way too late, and now they think like they're better than everyone, like in the sense of not even everyone, just women. They just think they're better than women, all women in general, bro. It's like that SpongeBob meme. They didn't want you when you were like a fucking loser kid, and now you grew up ten years later. You're you're a rich, buff, macho man. And the girl's fucking pregnant, talking about men ain't shit or something like that. It's like that fucking meme, bro. <laughs> oh my god, I, I can't even remember it. The, literally, the only words I heard was like, you just get a used, beat up product. And that's right there when I realized that these dudes don't look at women as people. They look at them as an object, an object of affection. I know, what's his name, Mirren, was just talking about like how we shouldn't treat them like the fucking cream of the crop like like they're gold and shit but they literally are doing that right now i don't know what this nigga's been through uh, uh i don't even know what to tell him i just dude chill out i guess chill out get the fuck out your bubble that's what i gotta say if all the women you ever meet are like that and I'm not saying there's anything wrong with it, but if you don't fucking like it, get the fuck away from it, dude. I've seen the intro to your podcast, bro. Your shit is centered around being in Miami. Why would you expect to find someone loyal there? I don't know. Um, nigga, just get out your bubble, bro. Chill out. I don't know why you're so fucking angry. Stop treating women like objects. Treat them like people, like you and me, who all have their own different complexities and, and, and shit to go through. Okay, my shit is on 4%, bro. I'll be right back. <laughs> I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. I was going to say that I don't know much about your podcast. I've only seen one episode, and it was with Slippy, who doesn't have much experience. So I can't really base my whole idea of you based off that one episode. But I get the gist of it. If you're bringing the same girls on over and over, and I don't mean like the exact same woman, like if if Miss Johnson came on one day and Miss Johnson came on the next week and the next week and the, no, I mean like the same type of women. If they all come from fucking Miami and they all got that Instagram influencer shit going on, then they're they're the same, bro. They're they're the same. Put the shit on the screen, bro. <laughs> they're they're the same. A different perspective that's all you need a different perspective 
different people, different perspective. Your perspective, your bubble, your view on things all comes from the same fucking 10 girls you bring on every fucking podcast talking about the same old shit. And this is why you get so pissed because you're hearing the same answers over and over and over again saying, I need a man who's six feet, need a man who makes fucking sick figures. And that's why you're getting so fucking pissed, bro. Bring different people on. And then you'll get a different view on things. Um, I was going to watch the episode with Admin and Preach. I, I thought that was going to be a good one. I didn't watch it yet. I'm sure it's good, though. And I'm sure it was different than any other episode you've ever done. Because Admin and Preach has a different mindset than you. And and you should keep doing shit like that. But I, I don't want you to be a gimmick. I don't want you to end up being those two guys who just say stupid shit about relationships. Dr. Umar is like a doctor. Like an actual doctor. I'm sure. I think he has a degree. But now, he's just the dumb, black, anti-white dude. He's just the the hotep who's against interracial marriage. That's it. He's a fucking joke now. Nobody looks at him like, hmm, he's really spitting fat. No, it's a joke. It's a joke. He's a fucking joke. And right now, you guys are looking like jokes. And you just came up, too. Like, I don't, I don't want to see you guys be jokes. I, I want to see you guys actually bring some 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 content in this realm of a black relationship advice i don't know what to call it of any jokes right now all i'm thinking about is like end this video right now nigga because you only have five days left on your fucking free trial you gotta get this video out or else you just can't fucking edit it because <laughs> of the free trial this this does they gonna end up missing we gonna get them hit up i don't tell them Pull up on them, head tap them, to the zone, keep dumping, spin off his location, where I'll Niggas be faking that red, that pick his head like a top, but I'm living his brain. Oh, Little be dropping if you keep on talking, I'm pissed like our killie, I'm beating this case. Okay. Let me in the ground, with somebody be the fake, I'm trying to make a sound, I'm the warrior, he gon' raise that. Give me a little value of the bitch, cause I'm paying, he's sitting on nothing, I sit on his grave. Bitch, I go by tape beyond this rapping shit, my game.